Tomorrow, the Purdue men's basketball team will make their first Final Four appearance in 44 years. The Boilermakers are set to take on NC State. Today, just WRTV's Jessica Grunling went to West Lafayette to see how Purdue fans of all ages are getting ready for this big weekend. It's priceless memories. Tim Costello got his love for the Purdue Boilermakers from his dad, 97-year-old Jack Costello. After serving in World War II, he picked the school off of a list. And I said, what's that one right there? She said, uh, uh, Purdue. Oh, I said, they play Notre Dame. There's a lot of memories. I uh, met my wife there. That, that was a good, a good deal. And of course, a lot of basketball games, a common bond for the two. They were around for the first two trips to the Final Four in 1969 and 1980. Uh, I was actually in Texas. I had just graduated a couple years earlier. Okay. And so I was in exile at my first job and had to watch them on TV. And uh, that was a sad time because <laughs> Uh, watching them fall to UCLA in the in the Final Four. It was a very good team. You know, disappointed that that we didn't win, obviously, but it's still a, a great experience. One of those guys they watched, John Anthrop, a 1980 banner hanging on the wall. The rest, family pictures, showing how much the university has meant to the Anthrops. One of his sons played basketball, the other two football. My family's been truly blessed to have those opportunities to be a part of it. And now, 44 years later, he and his teammates are passing the torch of the last team to reach a Final Four. It's something you dream of as a kid, and, you know, you're always hoping to get to the, the top level, no matter what that might be. And, you know, at that time, the Final Four and the NCAA championship was was it. Now he's watched this team take its own journey there. And I think it's, uh, you know, great for Coach Painter. I, I'm so happy for Coach Painter and, and the team this year. His advice to them? The hard part, in my opinion, is getting to, to the Final Four. You know, they have done that. So I think now just go play and have fun, enjoy experience. Obviously, you, you want to win. In West Lafayette, Jessica Grundling, WRTV. Purdue and NC State go head to head tomorrow night at 6. WRTV Sports' is Brad Brown is live in Glendale, Arizona and brings us the sights and sounds from today's practice a little later in sports. The women's Final Four begins tonight in Cleveland. South Carolina takes on NC State at 7. And by the way, South Carolina defeated IU in the Sweet 16 round. Then at 9 o'clock, Caitlin Clark and Iowa face UConn. Both games are on ESPN. Then the NCAA women's national title game is Sunday at 3 p.m. You can watch that right here on WRTV. And check this out. The Las Vegas Aces announced they will switch arenas for their game with the Indiana Fever on July 2nd. The team usually plays in a 12,000 seat venue, but they are moving the game to T-Mobile Arena, which seats 18,000. The team didn't give an official reason for the move, but the Fever have the number one pick in the April 15th WNBA draft, and they are expected to pick Caitlin Clark, who is selling out venues everywhere she goes.